Okay, welcome back. And in this section, let's talk about perceptual positions. Have you ever had a conversation with somebody and then later you thought to yourself, why did I say that? Or I should have said or should have done that. Or maybe you had an argument and when you think about it, you get upset again. Have you ever heard somebody saying, I wish you could just see it from my point of view? Well, perceptual positions actually involve shifting your viewpoint and viewing a specific internal representation from three different positions. So the first position is looking through your own eyes. So just imagine that, you know, you run through your mind the conversation that you had with somebody. And so you imagine now, after this has actually taken place, you imagine that you're running through it again. So first position you run through the conversation from your point of view. Then, once you've run through that conversation, you want to step out of your position and you want to then go and stand in the position of the other person, the person who you were talking with. And again, run through that same conversation. Now, this time, you're saying all the things that they said and you're hearing all the things that you said. And you run through that conversation again. Once you've completed that, you step out of position two. And you then think of being almost like a fly on the wall. So you're in a third position. You're elevated. You're looking down upon yourself and the other person. And run through that conversation again. So this time, you are neither yourself nor the other person. You're the fly on the wall. You hear everything that you said, and you hear everything that the other person said. And you notice this conversation between the two people as this fly on the wall or this other observer just looking down on the conversation. And so actually do this as an exercise. Run through that conversation. Notice what you notice for each of those positions. And then also notice what you notice about the overall conversation and how you feel about it now. And this is very useful to incorporate any learnings or learning to see things from a different point of view. In fact, I've got to be honest, this having done this actually has made me needed to apologize to my wife a couple of times. There you go, I've said it, I won't say it again. But, you know, it's, a, uh, it's an interesting exercise. So go ahead, do the exercise, and in the next section, we'll talk about the five principles of success.